Hello and be welcome to another episode of Let's Develop Conway's Game of Life. After I spent the last two episodes uh, installing plugins into my IDE and uh, presenting them to you, I will today actually start with doing again some development on the Game of Life project, which will be some refactoring because I just had a, had a look at it after I didn't develop on the project for actually more than six months and I was really shocked by the state I left the project in. So I'm going to start with a lot of refactoring before I actually uh, continue developing new stuff. And what my refactoring is going to target is actually the universe class. Um, you can see here the, the methods of the universe class, they're actually not that long but I had a hard time of wrapping my head around the ideas behind these uh, methods to understand again what I actually wanted to do here. So um, I'm pretty sure that when I wrote these methods half a year ago, I was more or less content with uh, the state of the refactoring and I really had a grip on what I did here and what these methods actually do. But after uh, letting it sleep for like yeah more than six months as I said um, I was really shocked and I had a hard time as I said so I'm going to try to actually improve that stuff and I will start with the first method down here which is get count if cell is alive first thing that bothers me here is that I can't actually really see um, fr from the immediately what these conditions mean. I mean, it's not that hard to understand, but I actually want to move this out. No, I don't think I'm going to start here. Anyways, um, so first thing I want to do uh, first thing that jumped to my eyes when I thought about how this thing is working is that the update method is converting the internal state of the universe, which is this array of array of cells here, uh, to an array of array of cell states to work on that, to do this neighbor, a life neighbor counting logic on these cell states instead of the cells. And I don't really know why I did that. Um, probably to save the excess of the cells state and to be able to compare directly. But actually the comparison is done at only one point, which is down here. So I think it makes things easier in the short future if I let the internal operations actually run on the internal state of the universe. So what I want to do is use uh, state here instead of cell states. So I'm going to replace that. Then actually have a problem here. So I want to change the method to actually use the cell array here, call it state, uh, okay. Call it state for now. Yes, yes, that's all okay. Then I want to do the same thing here, change the method, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. And the same thing here, which should get rid of all the compilation errors, except for the one where I can uh, now ask for the cell state, right? Get state. This should be it. Save and execute the tests. No, I broke something. Expected that, but was alive. Uh, I get it. I get it what I just did. Of course, I have to copy the cell state. I think I had this bug before, right? I kind of seem to remember that I introduced that bug before. Uh, thing is that I'm modifying now again the cell state um, 
online so that part of the state is updated, part of the state is not updated. And uh, this already updated part influences the further updates. I kind of got away with this uh, because I copied the, the, the state to the cell state thing here and modified that instead. Okay, probably maybe that was the reason why I introduced that in the first place. Um, still, I think that it is nicer to work on the actual state here because this would allow me to simplify this, this logic down here a lot, actually. <laughs> Let me think about that for a second. Okay, so what I want to do instead of uh, doing this variant here is I want to save the number of alive neighbors I calculate for each cell in, uh, uh, in, an, in an array and use that afterwards to do the update. So numbers of alive neighbors Let's type an uh, N here to make it actually readable. New int um, state.length and another array thingy here. And then at that point, I can say numbers of alive neighbors row is a new int array of state row dot length and then I can assign this part here to numbers of life neighbors row call right and then I do something very nasty copy paste I kill out that thing here and delete that line here and delete that part here and update that by number of those neighbors uh, row call. Okay, so now my tests should be working again. Execute them. They are indeed working. That's nice. So Now I actually uh, did something that happens sometimes in refactorings that I started by making it worse before I will hopefully be able to make it any better. Um, the target of what I want to make better is actually these get number of alive neighbors uh, method here because I really think um, it should be somewhere else. I don't really like that um, that I passed a state in here, which is actually a field. So since I cannot place it on this array thing, um, I will actually uh, at least erase the uh, the internal state here because it's the number of life neighbors for this cell in the universe. So I don't really need that um, parameter here. So let's kill it. Yes, there will be compilation errors because he didn't listen to me and insisted on adding this two here, but that's easily fixed. And then I will improve here. Uh, make this the same name and then do the same refactoring. Uh, let's do it down here too. Remove the two and then do the same refactoring. Remove the state for the same reason from these methods. Why is this not working? It is working. Okay. Um, and same thing here. Let's remove the state. 
Yes, it's okay. Should still be working, right? Yeah, still everything is working. And I think the signature of these methods became a little easier.